Hi, this is Nick, and I'm with Atlantic Laser Scanning Services. Today, we're going to take a look at using Ferrocene, and uh, we're going to try the uh, mesh option with clip boxes. So uh, I know a lot of you that use Scene uh, are just using Scene for registration. You are exporting the, the files out, and you're working with them in another um, uh, software package, or whatever you do in Scene might be limited to you know, you're measuring in 2D quick views and anyway, whatever it is, there's probably a lot of new functions and there's a lot of new buttons that you don't even know about or you've seen and you just haven't tried yet. So we're going to take a look at just one of those things. We're going to look at using a clip box and we're going to create a mesh. So as you can see, we've got a project here that not only has been registered, we've created a project point cloud and we've created a clip box. So we are going to reach inside of this clip box and we are going to create a mesh. But I think it's only fair because this is such a large project to uh, let's just reduce this size and just pick a small portion of it. We're just going to take this tower and we're going to try this new mesh option uh, with the clip box. So uh, we're going to just simply right click inside of the uh, clip box. We're going to go to active clipping boxes and down here to create a mesh. Now here's our settings page. It's going to come up. We've got, uh, you know, gap filling, uh, smoothing. We've got vortex, vertex colors, and then we've got the maximum number of triangles. Now, it, this is pretty intuitive. Uh, you know, the number of triangles, basically they're taking um, uh, three different laser scan points and they're going to connect them and that's going to create a smooth surface. That's kind of, uh, you know, the basis for creating a mesh or a smooth surface over the top of uh, a project point cloud. So... We're going to just leave everything on the default as it is. We're going to uh, let this go. As you can see in the bottom right hand corner, we're looking at about a million points in, as far as this clipping box. Now, how accurate that is, I don't know. It might limit it to that, uh, but that's what it's telling us. So we're going to let this cook for a minute. I will let you know when I come back how long this took. And we're going to see what we've got. Maybe this is a great tool. Maybe it's something that um, you can utilize if you're scanning a piece of equipment or, or a, a, you know, a scene. Uh, maybe it's something that will look really great and you can use it on your website. You can use it as, uh, you know, it just there's a hundred things that you could use a really nice mesh of a scene or a piece of equipment for. So let's see what happens. All right. It's been about 12 or 13 minutes and we have a mesh created inside of our clip box here. And uh, so let's just take a look and see what we've got. Well, It is, I would say, a crude representation. Uh, now, in all fairness, this is a pretty large piece of equipment still, even though we cut down quite a lot from the actual project. Um, there may be a use for something like this, and that's up to you guys. But I think we can just take a look at this and see that... Uh, uh, we we may not use this as one of the tools that we uh, rely on going forward to uh, to work with our clip box. Anyway, that's just from me to you. My name is Nick. I'm with Atlantic Laser Scanning, uh, AtlanticLaserScanning.com. If you've got any questions on anything, if you need a uh, Ferro laser scanner rental, if you want to talk about digital twin platforms. You can reach out to us by phone or email us at info at AtlanticLaserScanning.com. Thank you. 
All right, it's been about 12 or 13 minutes and we have a mesh created inside of our clip box here. And uh, so let's just take a look and see what we've got. Well, it is, I would say, a crude representation. Uh, now, in all fairness, this is a pretty large piece of equipment still, even though we cut down quite a lot from the actual project. Um, there may be a use for something like this, and that's up to you guys. But I think we can just take a look at this and see that uh, uh, we, we may not use this as one of the tools that we uh, rely on going forward to, uh, to work with our clip box. Anyway, that's just from me to you. My name is Nick. I'm with Atlantic Laser Scanning, uh, AtlanticLaserScanning.com. If you've got any questions on anything, if you need a... Uh, Ferro Laser Scanner Rental. If you want to talk about digital twin platforms, you can reach out to us by phone or email us at info at AtlanticLaserScanning.com. Thank you.